Good evening, Rebel fans. Gary Johnson coming to you live tonight from beautiful downtown North Augusta at SRP Park, where tonight your Strom Thurmond Rebels will take on the Hornets of Bacon in the Showcase Classic presented by the fine people at SRP Park. We thank you for having the high school teams in and give the guys a chance to play on a little bit of a larger scale stage. So let's hop right into tonight's matchup. Rebels will face... Um, the Aiken Hornets, Aiken is 4-8 uh, so far on the season. Uh, let's see, they had a loss to Mid-Carolina, 7-1. Defeated Spring Valley, 8-1. Uh, defeated Thurman, 5-2 in the uh, Peach Ridge Invitational. <laughs> That's all I know it as. So we're going to go with Peach Ridge Invitational. Then a loss to Airport, 9 to nothing. A loss to Airport, 11-1 and 11-0. A loss to North Augusta, 10-0. Defeated North Augusta seven to six. Defeated North Augusta twelve to five. I'm not sure how these scores, how accurate these scores are. Let's see. Anyway, coming off of a loss to Midland Valley, uh, four to three, and tonight the Hornets will face Strom Thurman, and tomorrow night will be at Brooklyn Casey. Let's head on into Rebel Rewind. It seems like forever and a day ago since the Rebels have been on the field. If you remember, and uh, I had to actually go back to my notes and look at it, it was – I'm sorry, I had to adjust something there real quick. It was a 3-1 to -one victory over baseburg Leesville Region Action which puts the Rebels now at 2-0 and in the region. Batting for baseburg Leesville, the Rebels kept the uh, Panthers down to a 167 batting average. Only four hits on the day, three singles, and one lone home run by Gavin Parrish. The Panthers strike out ten times, three hit by pitches, and only three walks. Cole Price had a hit. Braden Hallman had a hit. Carter Boatnight had a hit. And let's see, Gavin Parrish had the home run. Cole Price with a with a single for pitching on the mound for Baseburg Leesville. They sent Tucker Bowling to the mound. He pitches five complete innings, striking out six, giving up four hits and one walk, three earned runs. Carter Boatnight comes in for one inning, and he gives up. Two hits and no earned runs. For your Rebels, the Rebels bat 300 on the day with six hits. Caleb Simpkins had his home run, a blast over left field wall in the Rebel zone. Justice Hammett contributed with a single. Landon Jones had a double. Brad McAllister had a single. Bryce Bryant had a single. And Nate Nordine had a single. The Rebels strike out, let's see, I'm reading off my phone, so bear with me. Kind of an odd setup here at the park. Strike out six times and had one walk on the mound for the Rebels. Well, my stats have cut me off. Anyway, mound visit underway at home plate. We'll get started tonight. Your lineup for the Rebels will look like will look like this. Leading off in center field will be Caleb Simpkins. Batting second and right field will be Braden McAllister. Batting third at first base or third base will be Justice Hammett. Cody Davenport will be at first base. He'll bat fourth. Landon Jones will be a DH. Bryce DeBryant will bat six, and he will be at second base. Evan Bates will bat seventh. He'll be behind the plate. Jay Willis will bat eighth. He'll be at shortstop. Nate Nordine will bat ninth. He will be in left field, and Big Bird Griffin Thompson gets denied on the mound tonight for the Rebels. Countering for the Hornets. Let's see, batting first will be Hunter Rary. He'll be in right field. 
Batting second, Tanner Padgett. He'll be at second base. Reed McLean will be a shortstop, and he'll bat third. Cam Davis will be in center field. He'll bat fourth. Carver Vaughn will be on the mound. He'll bat fifth. Josh West will be behind the plate for the Hornets. He'll bat six. Aiden Morris will be in left field. He'll bat seventh. Tyler Tindall will be at third base batting eighth. And Cole Harmon will be at first base, and he will bat ninth. We're just moments away from starting lineups and the national anthem. We'll step aside and get ready for that. You're listening to Rebel Radio on the Rebel Sports Network. Gary Johnson back with you live at SRP Park. The Rebels are taking the field as the visiting team will toe the line. The first pitch thrown out. Beautiful night at the park. Plenty of fans in the stands. I like to see this in the Rebel zone from time to time. Maybe we'll announce we're playing at SRP Park each night and get you off of the computer or TV listening to me and at the park where you should be if you can't make it fully understand. We will step aside be time for National Anthem and starting lineups. You listen in. We'll listen to Rebel Radio on the Rebel Sports Network.
beautiful rendition of the national anthem. I didn't catch the name of the young lady singing, but what an outstanding job. Hats off to her. We are ready to play baseball here at SRP. We are ready to go at SRP Park. Caleb Simpkins will be a leadoff batter. Caleb nicely climbing the charts now up in the middle 200s after a very slow start. Of course, that is first varsity home run. Shout out to my man in his last game of base, uh, against Baseburg Leesville in the Rebel Ball. The music here is extraordinarily loud. I'll try to make sure you can hear it in the first pitch is a little adrenaline going is behind Simpkins' head to the backstop. Ball one. Carter Vaughn on the mound for the Hornets. And the 1-0 pitch to Simpkins down in the zone. Ball two. Go to the Speedy Simpkins. Definitely doing his job as a leadoff batter. And a swing and a miss. Strike one. And down goes Simpkins. Gracefully jumps back up with a big smile on his face. I think for a lot of these guys, it might be the first time they've played in this park. and gets you know, probably a little more amped than normal. And two ones is to count on Simpkins. And ball hit softly to short. Fielded by Vaughn. He'll go to first in time. For out number one. Braden McAllister will now be your batter. Braden will be in right field tonight with the, the shift that uh, Coach Horton employs when Cody's not pitching. Slides Cody over to first, slides Jay over to short, slides Justice over to third, and Braden in the right field, at least with some good arms around the field. And the first pitch of McAllister is behind his head and off the backstop for ball number one. Set it just a bit outside. It's uh, quite a bit inside. And the 1-0 pitch from Vaughn. And it's Vaughn on the mound. you got to love it. That's high ball, too. And the boss, <laughs> these guys have got some nerves to work out. Overthrow to the pitcher. Gets away. Now we overthrow back to the pitcher again. 
Fielded nicely by McAllister. He'll make the throw back to the pitcher's mound. <laughs> oh, these guys have got to work through their nerves a little bit. And a 2-0 pitch to McAllister. He's going to settle down and play some baseball here. And pitch from Vaughn is up ball three. And that ball catches the zone for strike one, three and one now to count on McAllister. Who only has two strikeouts on the season, definitely puts the ball in play. And that ball is high and inside, ball four. Rebels have one on, brings up Justice Hammett, your batter. Justice has yet to find his swing. When he does, this lineup starts hitting like I know that they're capable of. The Rebels have made it through on defense and pitching thus far. Had a couple of uh, heartbreaking losses. The seventh inning loss to 96 and an extra inning, two extra innings against Mid Carolina. Rebels do have two region games this week, so this game is, um, you know, they're all important. You want to win them all, but the focus has to be on uh, Pillion as the Rebels travel there tomorrow in the swing and a miss, strike one. And we'll welcome in Pillion to the Rebel Zone on Thursday, I do believe. Two big region games for the Rebels. Pillion dropped a pair of games to Fox Creek last week. Silver Bluff that lost two games. Fox Creek sitting at 4-0. The Rebels sitting at 2-0. And the runner goes, uh, and he stole that off the pitcher. So that's a stolen base by McAllister, and it uh, was a ball, I do believe. One and one will be the count on Justice Hammett. And a one one pitch to Hammett. Long look. McAllister drawing a lot of attention from McAllister or from uh, Vaughn. And that pitch is low, two and one. My sign at the park. The sun is not out. Cloudy night. Wind blowing in a little bit on, off the river as expected. Be hard to get one out of here tonight, that's for sure. And the pitch. Swing and up and out of play on the right field side. Two and two now to count on him. And the two two pitch to Hammett. Vaughn a long pause at pop and throws up and high. Nice save. The throw down to second gets into center field. McAllister will be on his way to third base where he will be in with the slide. Three and two to count on Hammett. Now one down, runner on third for the Rebels. So a full count on Justice Hammett. On deck is Big Cody. And the payoff pitch to Hammond. Again, another long pause up top by Vaughn. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Handcuffed Hammond on the inside. Cody Davenport will be your batter. He leading the Rebels in batting average at this time at a 438. Three walks, only three strikeouts on the season. And he also leads the team in hit by pitches at four. Not something that you strive to lead the team in, but hey, that on-base average goes up. 
and up balls inside and low. One and zero on Cody. And a 1-0 pitch from Vaughn. Misses ball two. You don't want to make a stake to the big left-hander Davenport. Cody does have five singles, a double, and a triple on the season thus far. We're still real early in the season. It just seems like it's been going for a long time. That ball ripped into right center field. That ball is going to get down for the first run of the game. On his way to second is Davenport. Told him you would not want to leave that ball hanging on Big Cody. So RBI double from Cody Davenport will now bring up Landon Jones, your batter. Landon has been sidelined for the season for pitching. However, his injury does not prohibit him from batting, so it's nice to see that we can get him back in the lineup. Surgery upcoming this week for young Mr. Jones. We absolute prayers for him and the family as well. And the first pitch to Jones. Pop a mile high. Camping underneath his pageant. The wind is swirling it around and he ooh, and a basket snow cone catch for out number three. But the Rebels do put one across. In the top half of the first, we move to the bottom of the first here at SRP Park. You're listening to Rebel Radio on the Rebel Sports Network. Gary Johnson back with you live at SRP Park. We're going to move to the bottom of the first. Griffin Thompson on the mound for the Rebels. Hunter Rary will be your batter for the Hornets. Big Bird pinch number one up for ball number one. Griffin's thrown two and two thirds innings thus far on the season in the pitch. High and inside ball two. Again, a lot of adrenaline, you know, you play on, on the larger scale and hit, you know, certainly more people as it does draw the crowd. That ball's high and inside for ball three. Take a little bit to get that adrenaline settled down, get the nerves worked through. And 
3-0 pitch. Inside ball four. So Hunter Rary's on. Tanner Paget will be your batter. Try to keep this thing from clipping. Thumb up. You good? You good? You cold? Yeah. Bring up your batter, Tanner Paget. Now one on, no outs, bottom one. We'll see if the Hornets are looking to move the runner over early in the game. Rebels jump out front, score first, one to nothing. A double by Davenport. That pitch is inside. Catches the corner for strike one. And the 0-1 pitch, bunch. A lot of Rebel alumnus walking in the park. Love to see it. And a 1-1 pitch. Nice breaking ball. Gets Padgett out front. Foul ball from strike two. It was a good-looking breaking ball from Griffin Thompson. I think the head run was on. The runner was going. And a 1-2 pitch to Padgett. Throw over, not in top. And it is up, and a throw behind. Woo, just a little bit tardy. Nice throw down by Bates, Rebel catcher tonight. Behind the plate, as Rary had quite a Quite a large secondary lead over there. Now the 2-2 pitch to Tanner Padgett. The runner goes, and outside corner, call strike three. The throw down. Oh, is oh my goodness, that was close. Almost had a strikeout, throw him out. Great play, though. So strikeout look, and McCrary will get be the second on a stolen base to bring up Reed McLean, you batter. Woo! Well executed by the Rebels, though. The strikeout, throw them out, was almost there. They made that call, could have went either way. Can't say it's a bad call. And the first pitch to Reed McLean. Who is your Hornet shortstop? Nice breaking ball for strike one. Looks like Griffiths. Settled in, got the adrenaline down a little bit, got himself under control. Feel like you're pitching on the big stage when you when you head to the big park. Some beautiful job done by the SRP staff and the pitch. Another breaking ball, fly high, deep, to left field, camping underneath is Nate Dordine on the warning track. Route number two, Hunter Rary is unable to advance. Nice job done by Nate. Good first step on that one. Allows him to get to the warning track to get underneath that plot five by McLean. For out number two, Cam Davis will be your batter. And the pitches in the dirt. Nice blocked up by Bates. He'll have a play at third. Woo, just in time is Rary. With good speed. Well, he is a leadoff batter. They typically do have speed. Said all the details at the park, beautifully done by the SRP staff with the Pictures of the players. That ball's outside. Nicely blocked up again by Bates. That's textbook right there. He rolled his right shoulder in and into the plate, which kept the ball in front of him. That definitely would have scored a run on the backstop here. Again, a, uh, just the details with the, all the pictures of the players and the starting lineups and Rebels and Hornets on the on the main scoreboard. Do a great job with this high school showcase. Uh, maybe call it a classic. I'm not really sure, but Several high, team, high school teams come through there. And Balk is called. So the 
pitches. Oh, boy. Mr. Blue in the outfield says he did not pause, so that will be a run scored. Not so sure about that one, Mr. Blue. All right, so we're back to a 2 0 count now, 1 1 game on the mock call. That pitch just misses. Ball three. So the Rebels give one away unearned on a uh, controversial ball call. Of course, it's always controversial when his team strike called. Cam Davis was halfway down to first base with the bat toss. And a payoff pitch. Swing fouled back off the net. That's will mess up your uh, batter box camera for a minute. We got to held on like a champ. The Velcro doing the job. Cam Davis stays alive on the foul ball. And a payoff pitch to Davis. Low and outside, ball four. So the fifth batter of the inning will come to the plate by way of Carver Vaughn, the Hornets pitcher. The runner goes on the first pitch and the throw down. Just a little bit high. In the second is Cam Davis. It was on time, just a little high. And ball one is the call on the pitch. And the 1-0 pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. And the fries are cold, but they're still good. No two to count on Carver Vaughn. We'll see if Griffin can pull the string on that, pop up, and it'll get over the dugout out of play. Staying alive is Carver Vaughn. Two pitch in the dirt, locked up again by Bates. Vaughn not chasing. It's a good two strike pitch. Long look in by Griffin. Side corner just misses for ball two. Again, another good looking two strike pitch. Vaughn not chasing. This was a wild at SRP Park. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second, Cam Davis. Carver Vaughn, your batter. And a pitch from Griffin. His nice breaking ball. Called strike three. Down goes Vaughn. Looking. So one in on a ball call. No hits for the Hornets. We move to the top of the second at SRP Park. Scores tied 1-1. You're listening to Rebel Radio on the Rebel Sports Network. It's also covered, 
So I guess I have to worry about the elements. And I guess the proximity of the field is if you are a much more intimate setting. Gary Johnson back with you live at SRP Park. We move to the top of the second. Bryson Bryant will be your leadoff batter. BB been hitting the ball extremely well during the season. Just had the bad misfortune of hitting it right at people early and now starting to find some holes as of late. And the first pitch to Bryant is a breaking ball which stays low, ball one. A true plate the disciplinarian. I actually said that and it came, came out. Again, like I always say about BB, high base, baseball IQ, which that ball's hot inside ball two. And a 2-0 pitch. Swing and hit into left field. Tailing away from Morris, but he will camp under for out number one. Brings up Evan Bates, your batter. First pitch called strike one. Second pitch called strike two. Bates finds himself in a hole early 0 and 2. And the 0 2 pitch from Carver Vaughn. Breaking ball stays high in the end. 1 and 2. Bates on base percentage sits at 516. That's. Certainly healthy. That ball ripped and fouled down the third baseline. Bring on deck, Jay Willis, your shortstop for the Rebels tonight at the pitch. Very low in the zone, but called strike three. Wow. Brings up Jay Willis, your batter. Jay Willis, your Rebel shortstop tonight. Two down in the top half of the second inning. That ball ripped through the six hole. Building deep in the zone is McLean. And he'll throw to first. Nope. Wow. Mr. Blue says that he is safe as he was transferring the ball from his glove. Not so sure about that one, Mr. Blue, but. But out number three it is. We move to the uh, bottom of the second at SRP Park. Still 1 1, all tied up. Rebels v. Hornets. You're listening to Rebel Radio on the Rebel Sports. Thank you. 
not be able to get a We experience that the children and the students are better here. There's nothing that you can compare when to the traditional theme park, when going to the zoo. Because the, the kids are coming out to a game where they're going to be interacting with our pet. They're going to be able to interact with our mascot. Most students probably won't ever have the chance of coming to a game, so we try to make this as special as possible. For all of those students, the game of education day, how to as our and the SRP project game is actually pretty easy. It's really just making a phone call, getting the information, getting the ingredient, placing the deposit, and we pretty much take care of other logistics internally. It doesn't matter how big your group is, it doesn't matter how small, whether it's our homeschool group or it's an entire grade level or the entire school wants to come out. We just encourage everyone out there to reach out to us. We really hope that we can see everyone here, put it goes fine. Here, Dawson, back with you live on Rebel Radio at SRP Park. We move to the bottom half of the second as dusk begins to fall in a beautiful park in downtown North Augusta. Home of the Green Jackets, right here on the Savannah River. Turning to the mound, Griffin Thompson. Your batter will be Josh West, your Hornets catcher. 